ITA was originally an idea perceived between um, Gorbachev and Reagan back in the early uh, 90s. And so ITA as we know it now started as an organization in, in 2008 here in France. The seven partners includes the EU, and then uh, China, Japan, uh, USA, Russia, India, and Korea. But there are many involved in the um, supply and building of the project. Today, uh, the world is primarily making energy with uh, fossil fuel and also renewable. But with an increase of the energy consumption, the world will need to find other options in the energy mix. And fusion is one of them as a promising uh, long-term option. Fusion energy, in some ways, is a, a very simple energy form, the form of energy which uh, effectively is most common in the universe, um, is the same form of energy which uh, comes from the sun. And thanks to a uh, natural fusion of, uh, of light atoms uh, with high pressure and high speed, this produce a high volume of uh, energy and, uh, and light. Essentially, what we're trying to do with fusion energy is to do something very similar to what happens in the sun in the, and in the stars, uh, but as a form of energy which is both, both clean and sustainable for a long-term future. The tokamak will be the biggest machine ever built by humankind. And this machine is not actually being produced to generate electricity. It's actually being produced just to validate the concept that fusion energy can be replicated here on Earth as it is on the sun to our planet and validating that it can be created. In order to create the chamber which the fusion occurs in, we, we have, particularly because ITER is very much an experimental reactor, so we have to have many connections into the chamber, many many items to diagnose what's going on, many, many systems to heat the plasma as we heat it to very high uh, temperatures. So there's many, many connections. Technetics as a leading seal a designer and manufacturer is involved very much in the sealing of and the demountable ceiling of many of the attachments to our main um, vacuum vessel. Well, Technetics Group has been involved in the nuclear industry for decades. We seal every nuclear reactor in the Western world. We're on every critical project that's been on the nuclear forefront. This machine is a high-pressure vacuum vessel operating at you know, 150 million to 300 million degrees Celsius. Very dense plasma being struck to get the, uh, the reactions that are required for the fusion process. And as you can imagine, in a system this complex and, and this critical, any failure in the machine system will result in the failure for it to operate effectively. And a vacuum vessel doesn't work if there's no vacuum. To get vacuum, sealing is uh, one of the most critical, if not the most critical aspect of a vacuum system. We have one of the largest vacuums in the world uh, ever to be produced, and uh, we need to keep to very high, high standards and very, very good sealing. For example, if we, if we had a, a leak the size, um, a hole the size of a human hair, coming into the machine, it would actually stop us starting the machine and being able to run the fusion uh, plasma. So hence, uh, on the machine as a whole, there are many thousands of, uh, of what we call the demount demountable seals. Leak tightness is absolutely critical, and leak tightness links very much into having um, quality production and fully validated components and, and for technetics fully validated seals which we know will work. Well, certainly every detail matters, and, and when the Technetics Group engineering teams are, are designing this collaboratively with the, the EATER team and you know, the vacuum sealing group, these are the largest seals to be manufactured, the complexity, the geometries, the shapes. 
the vacuum sealing levels that are required are pushing the boundaries of sealing technology. The aspiration is to create a safer, cleaner future for our kids and for the planet itself. It's been quite a lot of development over the years. ESA will pave the way for fusion machines, which can be placed anywhere in the world to be able to produce uh, electricity for the grid. And they... This is a human lifetime project. Uh, Teletics started working 20 years ago uh, for ITER, but before finishing the project, we will face many other uh, challenges, and this is why it's exciting to be involved uh, on ITER. And if we success, this can impact the future development uh, of the world.